fascinated about who gets to jump on whom. It's going to be those Arizona Cardinals that are being uh, repped here by Volterax kicking it away. And as always, it's popping with the Raiders. The Raiders have known no other belt winner when you talk about the, the clubs. And as we look inside the mind of 19-year-old Pavin, this is a guy who's already in his sixth EA major, made it to the Elite Eight, if you will, of Madden Bowl last year. He lost to Drini. You see that belt, though, that he's rocking on the bedspread? I like that. That's coming right out there. That's 12 pounds of premium Herman Oak cowhide leather resting on the bedspread. 150 grand or so in MCS career earnings already. And as we take you a little deeper inside Pavin, what are you looking at for abilities here? Well, if you watch the LCQ, you know all about this Michael Vick. He's the ultimate quarterback. A lot of people want to sit in the pocket with Hot Route Master. Well, he can not only can he do that, he can also use his escape artist and get busy with the quarterback when the pocket is collapsing. And then with his wide receivers, you guys all know about that Torrey Holt with that playmaker. And you have him with those abilities for so he'll run the routes better with John Ross and they'll be able to catch the ball in traffic. But also on defense, in a group that has two runners, he has one defense ability, and it's Ed Reed with a secure tackler. And for playbook, the West Coast offense, as you guys know, and Dolphins defense. We're going to see that Ed Reed for Volterax, too. So much gets made of his run game, and obviously this ladder record, which is just ridiculous. 273 and 10. Looks like a typo, but that is absolutely right. And yeah, of course we'll talk about his run game, but that defense is spectacular. As we go through the abilities, what do you like? <laughs> well, that's all you're going to see on abilities. I remember when he won 100K with Chris Johnson, I said, man, that Chris Johnson's good. He texted me, I can't wait for Bo Jackson to come out. So he has this human joystick. <laughs> Look for him to get busy. And that Tory P is going to be sick with that lurker. And also Raiders playbook on defense is gonna be, or on offense. He's going to run the ball, run the ball, run the ball. And then Ravens on defense. He's got a collection of Hall of Fame safeties and corners as part of that Ravens defense. Let's, Matt, let's do this thing. And again with Volterax, you, you got a, a porterhouse steak backfield. You got a bag of Doritos out wide is pretty much what you're talking about. No receivers of note. Pavin, he goes quite the other way, and he's got the ball first. He's got Ross. He's got Cribs. He's got that Tory Holt piled high with abilities. Now, Michael Vick, 99 grade, finds Kellen Winslow out in the flat. Kellen Winslow was a big player for Pavin in the LCQs. He was, and that's one of my keys to the game. So you're going to be looking on defense. Bolt is famous for this 3-3-5 normal on defense. I thought the key to the game was really getting your tight end involved because these wide receivers, it's going to be hard for them to get open. Well, here's Vic going scramble mode, throwing on the run, and that is, ooh, with a user lurk, look at that, Troy P gets in there and takes it away. I mean, I don't know if Pavin knew the abilities that Bolt has, but that Troy P, I mentioned him, he has lurker. That means he's going to get the best animations you can get in the game on making a play on the ball. For some reason, he tested him off the bat, and Troy P just snagged it out of the air. If that's someone, a linebacker without lurker, that's not a pick. So the golden ticket, Troy Palomalu picks the golden ticket, Michael Vick, in the battle of the 99s right there. And yeah, Volterax, we mentioned, he's not just about the run game. He's about great defense. And it's Eli Manning who will be his quarterback. That's a 10-cap quarterback. And again, Joke just ran a punter out there as a quarterback. It worked out fine. And Bo knows going down right there. Jackson trying to turn the corner. He lost a yard. Well, you know, we're playing salary cap here. This is an ultimate team, so you really have to build a team. And that's so great to see going back on defense for Bolt. You're spending a bunch of cap on a lurker ability that some think is a waste. Your second play of the game is a game-changing pick just about. I know it's early, but anytime you get a stop in Madden because the game is so short, it's huge. And, and it's just so nice for him to probably think, all right, I put lurker ability, it worked. Let's keep playing. A lot of pre-snap motion here. And again, running that Raiders offense. Pretty much standard issue for Volterax of late. Bo Jackson trying to turn the corner, gets tripped up. And you know, you made a great point, Skimbo, when you talk about how great that CJ2K was for Volt as he won himself a belt to just kind of discard him. You know, I mean, it's all about yeah. what do you do for me lately and currently, I guess. <laughs> 
Right, and I live that way too. I say you cannot have pride in these players. I, my friend Dubby has too much stupid pride in certain players. I tell him it doesn't matter. It's always the next man up. He hit this Bo Jackson came out. And it's the next man up, and he's running dive here, looking to bounce outside, spin move. Great defense. He's gonna punt the ball here 100 percent. I mean, Volt's email, Skimbo, includes the tag CJ2K the GOAT. I mean, it's right there embedded in his email, and it's like, nah, next. Because <laughs> the Bo Jackson card I like a little better. <laughs> I mean, I mean, honestly, why not just end on a good note as a champion? Retire as a champion. Hey, you know, I want a belt. I want a hundred K with you. You've done, you know, you've done your duty. It's the it's Bo Jackson's turn, you know, he's the next one up. How about the product placement, though, for Pavin? He's got that belt. First, he had it on his bed. It's right over his shoulder now, making sure that everybody watching it knows that he's got that belt. Two more, and he's got the, uh, the Skimbo total of three. Mm, let's, not, let's not go there. I've got a couple people in this tournament I, I don't know if I want to see winning. As we're back in this bunt <laughs> with the crossing route should be open, he throws it. Ooh, yes. I think he got his feet in bounds. I mean, he, he just had all day right there, but that's not going to be a common theme. Right back, right back. That was Lattimore back in coverage as we're about halfway through this first quarter. And the biggest play so far, the Troy Palomalu pick. Got Cribs out wide to the left, and that's going to be a guy you see a lot of in this tournament. Vic slings it on, and hits we Winslow get, right in the hip with that. it. Winslow toddling out of bounds. Yeah, and a lot of people are going to get mad saying he didn't get his feet in bounds, but I'm telling you, us pro players, we understand that we need to click on and swerve up the field so we get our momentum going up. Like, yes, you can blame Madden, but I think the biggest thing about being a good Madden player is blaming yourself before you blame Madden, and I swear, I know he did that. A vault again turns up the heat. Pavin is always looking to throw. I mean, it's straight out of the Michael Skimbo playbook here. My boy Skimbo in last year's Madden Bowl tournament, 1,532 passing yards, 200 more than anyone else. Pavin, in a perfect world, would give that a go here, but he draws a really tough defense right out of the chute. Right, and we got this flip bunch formation. He's going to try to catch him off guard with a quick snap when he motions over. That's Holt in the slot. Vic with that escapability. And Michael Vick down the sidelines is tripped up from behind. Almost took it all the way. That's an actual Arizona Cardinal draft pick. And Isaiah Simmons wearing 11. That got him by a shoelace. Tremendous pocket. Like I said, he's the ultimate quarterback with golden ticket. He could put any route on the field. But like right there, he has great pocket. You notice no one's going to be open. He has that ability to take off. And he almost outran the whole entire defense. He's lucky. You know, Volt's lucky it's the end of the year, and he has double sprint where everyone's about 99 speed. If it was about four months ago or whatever, he would have been gone. Winslow on that dive. And yes, that is a, a Hall of Fame caliber tight end who's just asked to tote the rock here. Pavin actually got into the end zone with Kellen Winslow five times in his three LCQ wins last week. Yes, very smart. And, I, and right there, the reason why he did is because his wide receivers were gassed and just wanted to give them a break and just do a waste play. But it's great when a waste play for four yards. No way, man. Yeah, no, no way doubt. He got bumped Vic, oh, he's picked oh, by Shazier. Ryan Shazier, you've got another Pittsburgh Steeler making a play for oh, Volterax. Troy Palomalu got it done, and now Shazier. This is probably going to be a really bad comparison, but just stand with me here. So he playmakered him. It's a timing. He thought he would clear right here. Well, we're, we're still in office, but he thought he would clear. It's like a DB jumping a curl route. He just jumps it. Well, his linebacker was there and just kind of stayed there and jumped it because it's a timing route. He has to trust that's going to be open before he gets sacked. However, he just threw it right in his lap. In last year's Madden Bowl, there were a couple games where Drini had five picks in a single game. Here comes Volterax marching towards that. He's got two in a single quarter <laughs> against a guy who does love to throw it in Pavin. Oh, I've been there. Just ask my boy Spoto. <laughs> and yeah, 41 nothing game. As Bo Jackson weaving his way back inside will take a tumble. And we're getting to see what Volterax can do with the stick. We've referenced that to Snickers play of the year, that incredible move that he made a few months ago. I don't know if we'll see anything quite like that here in this one, but sometimes Volterax, when he get, just gets it revved up, running the football, you just kind of lean back and say to yourself, all right, what do we got here? What are we looking at? 
Well, he's in complete control as a runner. You love this. You love these low-scoring games. He gets the ball at half. Stretch to the left. He might have it. Gotta oh, get out there. Couldn't quite bull his way out of it. But Bo Jackson already oh, has toted man. it six times. And it would, would not surprise you, I wouldn't think, right, Scambo, if, if you're talking about a 20 to, to even 25 carry afternoon here for the great Bo Jackson. <laughs> Until he gets the job done. But I want to talk about one of Bolt's abilities on offense. He has this Alex Mack center with identifier. That means if you... Uh, Right now, we're seeing the offensive side of the ball. And if you don't have this ability, we, we would have no idea who Pavin's using on. So right now, he knows. That's why he has that ability. So if he catches him snapping, he'll quick snap him. But if he feels like it's not there, then he'll flip and do a bunch of stuff. Clock is a friend of Ultrax here as well as he churns forward with a little bit more. Bo Jackson. Vincent Edward Jackson, I, number one overall pick out of Auburn back in 86. <laughs> right. And I'm curious how Volt plays this. So you're in a field goal range. He has the, one of the best kickers in Madden that's an ultimate team in Zane. So I'm very curious. If I'm him, you're playing great defense, I would just run dive because a stretch, you hand the ball off four yards behind the line of scrimmage, you could risk a, you know, a loss of about four yards and maybe out of field goal position. So I'm curious to see his next, next two play calls here because he is in field goal position ready, ready, right now. That's a great point with the Zane Gonzalez card. But he can get out there as his kicker. And there is Jackson. He's got some room. Bo Jackson inside, outside, inside. Zigzag. Touchdown. Oh, Bo knows the end zone. Yeah, and Boltrax has the lead. <laughs> it's, I'm telling you, it happened on defense. It's great when it works on offense. He's put all that cap in that human joystick, and it worked. Well, we've seen a Gale Sayers touchdown blast. And we just saw a serpentine from Bo Jackson for our only other touchdown of the day so far. Remember, it was a 22-6 final in our first game with Joke kicking five field goals and just getting the, the one touchdown. Our Snickers replay, Skimbo. Yeah, you see him. He just he's found he's found a sweet spot. The stretch left has worked two times now in that human joystick. He's gonna go left. He's gonna go right. He can go any way you could possibly want to steer that player. And it's a touchdown. Great play. Now he's getting back on defense and wants to destroy P that he's lurking with. Do work. That was a perfect graphic that popped up there too. A sticky replay indeed. That stick work, phenomenal. As Josh Cribs will wrestle his way forward and you know, Michael Vick again finding some underneath stuff here. It's going to be a second and two. Anytime you see an offensive player go into a backup formation as a defensive player, I know you got to like worry about some other stuff, but you already know that you're doing pretty good when you see someone already going to their backup offense. That's how bad Pavin feels. And, and that's good by him. He's not stubborn. He, he's ready to switch it up and he's about to mix in some stuff to try to keep, catch Volt off guard. And he's got that Tory Holt at his disposal here. Vic spinning away. Throwing on the run. Is Ross in bounds or not? No, he's no. not. No, it, it, it's great by him. To that one if he, on the sideline. Yeah, if he could have played maker him up. He caught Volt napping. Actually, Volt had a busted coverage. He had no zone over the top on that side. If he would have caught that gone upfield, it could have been a big play. As you see a duck down for about three or four yards. A good protection there, just kind of ladled underneath. And one thing about Pavin, if it gets to third down, he converts about 46-47% of the time. That's best in this field. And that West Coast offense is so good for that anyway, right? You're just looking to stick it for six or seven most times, no matter what you're doing. Yeah, but I love Pavin. I said this last time we commentated him. He's really good at taking the underneath, taking the underneath, and then getting you over the top. He just had Volt over the top two plays ago. But mm. that Volt has spent so much, so much cap, and so, well, not cap, but so much just overall on defense where his players got home before he could get that ball over the top. In ultimate team mode, you want speed at receiver, period. And that's what we got here with Pavin, who hits Holt for the first down. Come down, Pop. Great good, play. Volt switched up his defense. Volt's been running this 3-3-5. I've noticed on big third and fourth downs, Volt has really been sitting in the heat. I'm, I know he's going to think about next time and probably just come back in that 3-3-5 normal on defense. And a battle of belt winners here. Two-minute warning and an exciting first half. Low scoring, but exciting. We've seen two picks from Volt already. And that sizzling touchdown run from Bo Jackson. Winslow able to spin right to midfield. 
Yeah, and, and again, I'm going to go back to it. This is my key to the game. He's got to take this Winslow. He, I, I know we love Max Protect, and I get in a bad habit of it too. But anytime he's had Winslow on a route, he's had a good play. Maybe out of bounds. Vic throws it away. Couldn't get those speed guys open. And with Volterax, Skimbo, I mean, again, we, we don't mean to, to keep harping on it, but defense is a calling card. Doesn't really blitz that much. He just holds his ground and lets that all-pro collection he's assembled go to work. <laughs> yeah, this that 95 overall. As you see that Winslow's on a route, be looking for the corner on the left side. Threads it into Holt instead to move the chain. So Pavin methodically getting it down the field. And remember, you've got a guy that, that likes to, to put it in the air all the time in Pavin. He's still got a minute left in all of his timeouts. Yeah, and he's, he's got, got to do that. He's got to send out That's a bad sack. Oh, yeah. my God. That's a spy, yeah, too. That's a terrible sack, though. He's going to have to use one of his timeouts. So right here, I mean, Volt's a runner. you got to get in field goal range. Volt's not the kind of guy to gamble on defense. You, you already caught him once, and you couldn't get it. He's going to have zones back. He needs to take the underneath and get right back into field goal range. <gasps> oh, man. I'll Ooh, Shazir almost had another one going he's the other way. And we need to point out that number 11 in the Arizona uniform, that's not Larry Fitzgerald. That's the rookie out of Clemson, Isaiah Simmons, and he's been very close to a, a couple of sacks here on, on Michael Vick. We're down to 53 seconds left in the half. This is dangerous. This is very dangerous for Pavin. I know he's probably going to want a first down, but you can't take a sack because if you take a sack, you're out of field goal range. Uh, Torrey Holt gets it close. This is interesting. You just take your three points here, Skimbo. It's fourth and four. That's usually a makeable thing. I guess it will be a field goal. Yeah, it's not interesting at all, honestly. You take your three here, you're struggling. I mean, the fact that he got three on that drive is, is an accomplishment. He gets back on defense, but here we go, right? Here's Volt. He's got this human joystick, Bo Jackson. He's got some of the best stick, maybe the best stick in all of America. And I, and I know you guys are watching thinking, I can run like that. No, this guy's won over $100,000 this year with stick work. So get ready. These next three plays, we might see some fireworks. And once again, when you take a look at Volterax and his roster construction, the receiving core, <laughs> it's nothing. It's not Jerry Rice and Marvin Harrison and Randy Moss. It's just, I want to run. And that's why. There he goes again with that human joystick he almost got free. Oh, man. Hold up. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You thought this half was over. There's no way. He's found a sweet spot. He loves his stretch left in this formation. If Volt finds something he likes, he is going to wear it out. As you see, Pavin shifting this line to the left to help. Oh, man. And, and Volt's found something. Oh, he tippy toes to the sideline and still has 29 seconds left in a couple of timeouts. So field goal for sure. Do you get greedy? Do you get hungry? Do you want six instead of three? I mean, you get greedy every time being a runner because all you do is run. Like, what's not greedy? If you're a passer, you try throwing the end zone, you might throw a pick. If you're Volt, you're just going to hand the ball off. And the worst thing that can do is a fumble. And with all the patches and tunings that's happened over this year alone, fumbles used to be very, happen a lot. Fumbles don't even hardly happen anymore. That's why no one uses Enforcer. Eli Manning hands it off. Bo Jackson turns that corner again. And he has hip checked out of bounds. 120 yards already for Bo Jackson in the half. And you go back to what CJK did for Volt Drax in the Madden Club Tournament. <laughs> and that win over Drini in the final 293 yards from a CJ2K. Yeah, I mean, Volt's got great run plays, great run stick. And he's even smart. Like right now, you're thinking, oh, he's out of bounds. Why aren't you calling a play? He's only going to use Bo Jackson. So the stamina that he is trying to get back on this Bo Jackson to possibly get a touchdown is huge. And by the way, very smart to get out of bounds is to save two timeouts as well. Couple receivers out to the left, but they're just there as window dressing. It's going to be Bo Jackson again. He's already belted one home run in this game, and for those that, that don't know, he was quite the baseball player too as Bo Jackson, actually hit four consecutive home runs at one point, four home runs and four at-bats when he played in the major leagues. See if he can hit one more out of the park right here to make it a 14-3 game at the half. And there is Bo Jackson with the spin. Oh Bo God, Jackson, the home run! And oh, Volterax no. does pad that lead just before the break. <laughs> I mean, 
I could have told you. I told you, but I did tell you. I mean, this guy has the best stick in America. I mean, did you not think he was going to put something together somehow with all those timeouts and Bo Jackson with human joystick? Just a perfect run to the right. Pavin tried to over pursue, trying to tackle him inbounds. Spin move goes right up. Perfect blocking, perfect stick work. That's just, that's, there's a reason why he's a $100,000 winner this year. And that's why you say goodbye to CJ2K, I guess. Suddenly outdated for the moment when you've got that golden <laughs> ticket, Bo Jackson, put the human joystick on him. Great offensive line that Voltrax has in front of him, too. Shoot, uh, it's the best you could probably possibly have, and he has the best defense you could possibly have. He's just going to rush three. He's going to give up no deep bombs. And he's going to hope he gets a, a dumb pick. Pavin might throw a dumb pick right here to his Troy P. Already two picks in this first half for Bolt. Final play or no? Out still a couple seconds left. And again, it's such a fascinating matchup here because all Pavin does is throw. All Voltrax does is run. So you know what you're going to get. And right now it's the run guy over the pass guy by 11. Yeah, there's just nothing going. Just throw it away. Let's go into the second half. And regroup. So what can Pavin do here? I mean, what's up to, to get uh, back in it? Uh, well, you're down 14 to 3, and Volt gets ball, and he's a runner, and he's going to chew the clock. <laughs> and while chewing the clock, he might bust one for a touchdown. But I, I don't want to say it's too late because I really feel like Pavin should have wore out his tight end more. I feel like every time he went max protect, it just didn't work out for him. And, and it's easier said than done, but you know, sometimes you just play into a trap. 14-3 score at the half, our Battle of the Belt winners, and they are wired up for you. Audible at home. Ooh, let's go, Vic. Vic ain't fumbling now. Let's go. Hype up, hype up. No way, man. No way he got bumped like that. Oh, make that tackle. He got bumped on that. All right, I gotta wake up. Channel on YouTube for access to each and every match from the Madden Bowl 20. It is every match from this Madden Championship Series season. Subscribe as we update throughout the week during group play at the Bowl. The Madden Competitive Gaming YouTube channel is the official home for everything you need here. It's the Madden Competitive Gaming channel on YouTube where Madden Competitive lives. Look at Volt. It's essentially 19 and 1 every time he plays 20 games here. Your ladder win percentage here, Skimbo. That's astounding. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> you know, a lot of criteria in sports, they say, well, you must have 20 free throw shot or 20, you know, games played, blah, blah, blah. This guy probably has over 1,000 games played this year. And the fact that he has 96.5 winning percentage is almost unheard of. He is a smooth criminal, too. This is not a guy that gets up and shouts, gets in your face. Very methodical. And as you pointed out, Skimbo, it's not the sexiest stuff. It's offensive line and defense. And Bo Jackson. It is. And I got a couple four for a few more. Yeah. And I got a couple things to say. First, I want to make a friendly bet with user, okay? I was watching the audio right there. I, I will bet like a thousand or whatever that Bolt doesn't even say a word when we get his audio. We won't hear a let's go, blah, blah, blah. But let me save this bet until the end. If he wins it all, the bet's out. Let me, you know, if he does something there. But from here on to if he wins, I bet you he don't, you guys don't get a word on him. Well, since you're a baseball guy like I am, kind of off to the side, the old Vin Scully line about the guy who goes out and paints the town beige after he does something great. That's our boy Volt. I mean, he, he lets his stick do the talking here. He doesn't have to run his mouth. He's, he's up 14 to three on a really good player here. Right, and he's really found the stretch play to work. At first he was running dive, dive, dive. He found a couple stretch plays, like right there. That's actually the most emotion you'll get. He tilted his head up. Like, if you want to see emotion for Volt, just watch him tilt his head, because that's it. So he had a stretch right, almost had a touchdown, but that, that's about as much as you get. And as you see, cycling through these plays, really getting Bo Jackson juice back up. He, don't be surprised if you see another stretch right, left, obviously, whatever here, because he has found something in this run D that he likes. Skim, if he hits his first down, he could take this entire clock 
all the way through on, to the fourth quarter. That's a big stop by Pavin, bringing up fourth and two. Right, and he, and he thought Dive was going to get the job done there, probably because he had his identifier and Pavin was still moving around players. But I just noticed Pavin's dive right up the middle defense has been probably his best defense out of everything. And, hey, by the way, let me throw this out here. Volt can fake punts. He will fake a punt. Not right here. He's up 14-3 in full control. Just but seven. don't ever be surprised in the rest of this tournament because you saw Bo Jackson was the up man. He will snap that ball directly to Bo Jackson hmm. if you're caught napping. Yeah, something to put in your pocket and maybe bring out later. And I just got to throw this out too, Skimbo. I know the meta is supposed to be swinging back towards passing right now, but just pointing out that so far, with Joke 1 0 here in Group A, Boltrax looking good. There's a pass complete to Holt. It could be that the two guys who are 2 0 in Group A will combine to have thrown zero passes to get to 2 0. Right, absolutely, and as you see, Pavin had his tight end on a route. That time, Max Protect, two big plays in a row. Just taking that underneath. He stopped looking really down the field. He's trying to fit these balls into the needle. But like you said, I mean, I, 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 if you kept it with a vault, he has tried to pass the ball just to have fun. But I promise you, hearing people saying the run's dead, the run's dead, the run's dead. Volt's the kind of guy, as you see this deep pass, Oh, draw. Volt's the kind of guy. Volt's the kind of guy that say, oh, you guys think the you know the run's dead? Let me show you something this tournament. A's a very tough group. B's a very tough group. Joke has the most points. Pavin has a belt. You've got uh, obviously Volt with a belt. And Boogs is a major's mainstay. Uh, hey man, Bols I mean Boogs, that's my guy, all right? I have been in this community for six years, and that was my first probably friend in the whole community. I remember he picked me up at an airport in Atlanta before we even met each other. We met each other through online. We, you know, we just talked through wow. there, and I needed a ride, and he hooked me up with a ride. We haven't even met yet. He hooked me up with a ride, uh, a, a hotel, a hotel ray. I mean, Boogs is a great player, but he's also, he's an even better dude. Well, and Boogs and Pavan might be getting it together in our game four of hey, six today, up, up. both in complete desperation mode. If, if you missed it, Boogs has already lost 22 to six to Joke. Joke and Volt will play next. Nick and Ty will have the call of that one for you. Josh Lewin, Michael Skimbo with you here. Pavan not out of it. Michael Vick running against Dent as he gets to the 42. Oh. Players are getting bombed. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> Volt, you know, he sent four right there. You know, that's the most pressure. Sometimes you'll see him. He likes to just rush three with the spy. Right there, he rushed four with the spy. Pop is just really trying to fit these balls. Like I said, he's done looking for the deep. That's probably the first time he's really looked for a deep pass in a while, and he took a sack. Only oh, lost for a yard, so it's not awful. But Pop just needs to continue to wear out these underneath, these tight end routes. You know, don't get greedy because you're on a great drive right now. He tried to go downfield early in the game, got picked defense. twice in the first quarter. Vic hustling it out of bounds. And when you look defense. at this roster, I mean, it's a 94-grade defense that Volterax has put together. Spent 63% of his cap on D. Ed Reed, Deion Sanders, Denzel Ward, Lattimore, Palomalu. And then he rolls out with the Calvin Johnson golden ticket at strong safety just because. Right, and on this third and 11, you see this tight end on delay streak route from playing Bolt. He really hates delay routes. We'll see if he finds him, takes it underneath. I'll take two. I'll take two. Come I, on. I think he'll probably take three here and make it a one possession game. But back to what you were saying about Volt, he was the first one to introduce, like everyone knew it who played Mutt and Salary Cap. We tried to like save cards. He was the very first one to introduce double sprinter into a lineup. Ah, if you guys don't know what I mean, if you have sprinter activated, you have plus one speed. But if you have double sprinter, your whole team right gets now. plus two speed. And he was rocking that when he won the Madden Bowl. Now everyone saw he did that. The cap's gone up. Now just about everyone on the field has a double yeah, sprinter lineup. But this man, Bolt, when it comes to creating a salary cap team or something like that, he is a freaking genius, as you see him in those eyes in the background on the door. I, I just It's the first thing I saw when I looked into his room. <laughs> Those eyes are almost more expressive than, than Volt's eyes. Oh my God! Because as you've talked state. about, this is a guy you talk about Why a game face. It, it's just a, a flat line with Volt. He I lets his gameplay do the talking every single time. I, I have to critique Volt real quick. Pavin got caught out of the wrong defense and ran off sides to save a timeout. Volt declined it. 
Why are you declining that bolt? Like, it makes no sense. Is, is he that much in control? He feels like he can decline a penalty. It would have been first and five. For some reason, he declined it when Pavin came out in quarters three deep defense. Huh. That is interesting. And for Pavin, oh, who, who says he's been stopping the run much better lately, and if you watch his games, I think that's true. But he, he just happens to draw the best runner in this tournament, arguably, in Volterax. If it's not joke, it's got to be Volterax. Well, at this point in Madden, you know, I think there's only about five or ten really good runners anymore. So, you know, he might have had the best run defense, but I don't think it was versus the best runners in Madden. This, this guy right here, this is the best runner in Madden. So if you think you have run defense, you play this guy online and you tell me how good your run defense is. Eli Manning, who might as well just be a, a paper plate because he's not going to be asked to put it in the air. He just hands it off to Bo game. to bring up a big, big yeah, third and five here, getting ready half. for the fourth quarter. Yeah. And before we go into the fourth, yeah. I just can't say how upset I am with Volt. I don't know, classy, whatever. This is a chance to add to your legacy. It wasn't an error. He came up on the wrong defense. He should have totally accepted it would be first down right now. No, he's, a, he's a gentleman assassin. We'll, we'll give him that one. <laughs> and right now can simply run out as much clock as possible. This is a guy that's very happy to win a game by a score like 14-6. Oh to six. God, oh, Sticky there oh and Bo Jackson to the first down. <clears throat> you know, Josh, you asked me earlier why, why Bo over CJ. That's why right there Bo Jackson has the capability of carrying people with him as he's getting tackled. CJ, he might have been tackled right there and just stopped and would have been a fourth and four. He spent all this cap on Bo Jackson, all this. He fell forward for a couple yards to get the first down. Go YouTube the video, if you've never seen it, of Brian Bosworth getting steamrolled by Bo Jackson in that Raiders Seahawks Monday night football game way back when. <laughs> And, and this is pretty much that coming to life here for Voltrex. I think Bo rushed for 221 yards that night, 91 of them on that second quarter run to the outside on touchdown the sideline. More Bo Jackson carrying white jerseys with him as we're down to 4.10 to go. Right, and, he, and he's not going to have two clock on. He's going to take all the time in the world. He's going to milk this clock, right? All right, so, like, if you're at home, like, put yourself in Volt shoot right now. You're up six, 14 to 6. You're up 8. You've had great defense. Your run game's working. And for a passer, and RG always said this about me, when you have a lead as a passer, it's hard to milk the game. When you have a run game like this and you have the lead, it is easy to milk the game and put the nail in the coffin. And that's exactly what Volt's going to do. He's going to run, 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 obviously. And once he gets in field goal range, he'll kick his three and just end it. Again, when you've got that Bo Jackson card, when you've got this offensive line, when you've got that stick work, yeah, just keep on milking. And, you know, even in the NFL oh, today, even though it's a pass-happy league, Skimbo, you know, the 49ers beat Green Bay to get to the Super Bowl with 39 run plays. And what was it, eight passes from Jimmy Garoppolo that whole game? It happens in the NFL, too. It happens. Maybe not up to this rate, but it definitely happens close to it at times. But if you're Pavin right here, if you're rooting for Pavin, you really want to see him dig deep right here. Your run D hasn't been awful. You know, he's finally figured out how to stop the stretch, but this Bo Jackson's been a monster. He might have to pull a Noah up next if you watch the Draft Champions and click on and do a hit stick and just pray this ball comes out. Jackson able to elbow his way forward. That's 175 yards. Couple of touchdowns for Bo Jackson. Again, the only other touchdown in the tournament so far. We saw a great Gale Sayers run from Joke in game one today. Uh, uh, right, and I'm just going to say it right now. If you play Matt, if you're a regular at home that does understand, a first down right here wins the game. Like, he might have timeouts, yeah. but the field goal, the percentages, for the most part, guys, this is it. He's got to stop him. He cannot give up a first down. And even if Volt gets to about the 42, that's field goal range. You can't give up another yard. He can probably still well, make this. Well, there's about three more. Part. And we're down to 2.20 to go. A huge third and four. Poppin must make a stop if not rip that ball away right now. Oh, the oh, field goal man. team that's is fine. on. No, 
No, no, no. It's smart because I love doing this too. Volt, he knows two-minute warning's coming. He's going to check the win on a third down so he knows exactly how many more yards he needs. Hmm. It's, that's just next level. A lot of people sleep on it and think, oh, why is he doing his field goal range? No, if you're a top Madden player, you understand exactly why because he wants to see the field goal. So now he knows he can't lose any yards because he has a minus two, about minus four win against him going to the side. He has to gain yards here. He can't lose any yards. Let's go. Come on. Oh, well, he lost just a little yeah, hey, right there time. to make it yeah, a hey, little tougher. Game. But you made a point earlier about getting that Zane Gonzalez card. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. He won't get yeah, it. You're the right. win's against you. He stopped him. It's dead. This is dead. He's going to punt the ball. Pavin has a chance to drive down the field and tie oh this game God, and go into it. overtime. Oh, my God. Bo well, Jackson's what faking you called it. for earlier. You he called it earlier. It. You I got lost. it. The oh Bo Jackson God. carry on the fake. And that should seal it here for oh, Volterax. Oh, this man. I should have came out in 3D. <laughs> He's going to catch you napping, and he really going to put you to sleep, baby. Oh, my goodness. Volt is a man. I mean, uh, oh, oh I'm just, God, I can't cute. believe what I just saw. He's oh. playing great defense. That's on me. He just That's said, why me. not? Let me end this game. I'm about to lose my voice on that one call. <laughs> Some fourth quarter hocus pocus from Volterax, a guy that looks like he doesn't care. But oh. believe it, he does, and he's about to bring down Pavin. Ready, ready. <laughs> I'm done, Josh. I just, I, this man's crazy, dude. He's awesome. He's smart. He's, he's got risk in him. He's a gambler. This is what it takes to be a top Madden player. Sometimes you just gotta let it drop. You just gotta do stuff like that to win a game. And he saw what he liked, and he called it. He told his special team, "I like what I see. Let's fake it, and let's get this with my best player." Yeah, let's not sleep on that weapons-grade intelligence that Bolt has, as well as the stick work oh, and the great run game. Shot. And the guy that a was so good, good in the clubs and went all the way through, won himself a belt. Could we finally have, I know it's way early in this tournament, Skimbo, could we finally have two belts to one guy in one season? I mean, Bolt, if he keeps running the ball like this and has this kind of defense, it's game, not impossible. Man. It's not impossible, but like you said, it is super early to start talking like that, in my opinion. Which really, we're just, we're getting kind of caught up in the moment, right? Where it's the Madden Bowl, this is the first group, we're all excited. Well, let's get ready when we some, see these players tomorrow. We got belt winners tomorrow. We got belt winners the next day. You know, tomorrow our opinions might change, but loss, yes, though. he hmm. does have oh a chance. He gosh. looks very powerful in this first game. And Pavan, who played in desperation last weekend, needed to go 3-0 and in the LCQ, and he did that. He's going to be go out 5,000, my friend, here in about 20 seconds, because Volterax, with those two big interceptions early, and the two great touchdown runs from Bo Jackson, and then the fake punt that you called early. Now, why are you sighing here? Yeah, you don't like the field goal? I guess he has to because it's fourth and one, but man, I've seen uh, Snickers maybe time. moment of the year I'll be a be blocked field time. goal and change a lot of a lot of season for some people, but it was fourth and one. I guess I don't blame him because it would still have been a one possession game. And you got to fluff up your, your net point time. differential when you get the chance, right? Because remember, we're playing essentially a, a round robin day here today. Those three points can make a difference later. Uh, absolutely. When you're up two possessions, absolutely kick a field goal. But if you're only up one possession, I mean, and, and you don't have to kick a field goal and you can clock it, which he had to kick a field goal there, you absolutely clock it and end it. Michael Vick swerving up field, but this one is all but done. Volterax, the only question is, will he smile? Did you officially bet that thousand with user? I, I can't remember, uh, but... I'll find out when he gets back.